All right, my YouTube family, welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And one concern I know a lot of players had as we roll into year six, season two, was the changes that they were going to be making to St. Elmo's engine. And to be honest with you, I don't really feel that big of a difference. A lot of you have reached out to the channel since this season went live, and you've been asking me to highlight one of my favorite builds around this weapon. So I'm going to do that really quick. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. So I need to kind of race through this. So what we're going to do is as follows. We are going to jump right into the build breakdown. After that, I will show you some gameplay footage of the build in action and the first thing i like to mention in any build video i put together is remember this is just a template there are so many different ways to run with a build like this and in my opinion one of the most important things you can do is take your time and make a build your own and i will talk about what i'm referring to in the gameplay footage itself now starting with the specialization you can see i'm using technician and I'm using that for two main reasons. First of all, you get that extra skill tier. And secondly, you have access to the Artificer Hive. And that is going to increase your shield's duration and efficiency. And remember, if you happen to be a solo player like myself, when you have that thing holstered, you will automatically get those benefits. And if you happen to be in a group, you put it on the ground. If people are close to you, they will get those benefits as well. Finally, please remember, regardless of the specialization you choose, have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree. That way you're getting a 15% weapon damage bonus regardless of which one you're using. And obviously my primary weapon for this build is St. Elmo's Engine. Even though they did nerf some of the mods, this thing is still an absolute f beast like it's a monster now we know the talent where shooting an enemy with this weapon will give you one stack and at 100 stacks the next magazine will be 100 percent filled with shock ammo you can see the mods we have 15 percent crit hit damage 30 extra rounds 10 percent weapon handling and 15 percent crit hit chance as well and as i said a moment ago even though they did reduce that crit hit damage and crit hit chance as well as the weapon handling I'm not really feeling that big of a difference please let me know what you think now you can see my secondary is the urban mdr with the talent optimist and one of my favorite changes in this game Game is the fact that certain rifles are fully automatic. Trust me, my fellow agents, I'm in the process of putting some builds together around these weapons. You will see those very soon. Now moving on to the gear itself, you can see I'm running three Striker, two Brazos, and the Ninja Bike. Most of you know how the Ninja Bike works, but I will go over those details really quick. Now, one of the benefits about this backpack is you do get three core attributes. You have the weapon damage, you have the armor, and you have the skill tier as well. And as you can see, it has the talent resourceful. It slots in with any equipped gear set and or brand set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set's bonus. So that means even though we only have three pieces of striker equipped, we do get that four piece bonus, which is exactly what we're going for. So you can see two pieces, 15% weapon handling, three pieces, 15% rate of fire. And the four piece bonus is Striker's Gamble. Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%, stacking up to 100 times. This is easily one of my favorite gear sets in the game. Please let me know your thoughts. That now takes us to the body armor. It is the first of two pieces of Brazos. And once again, because we have the ninja bike equipped, even though we only have two pieces of Brazos, we do get all three brand set bonuses. And the third one is the one I'm going for. It is that 50% magazine size. And I am using the talent obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 20 times. And one thing you will notice on every single piece of gear, I'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. That takes us to the holster. It is Picaro's holster, which is the second piece of Brazos. And even though they did decrease the weapon damage on this holster, it used to be 15%. Now the max is 10. You are still getting those three core attributes. You have the armor, the skill tier, and the weapon damage. Even though it is less, like I said earlier, I do not see that big of a difference. And last but not least, we have the knee pads and the gloves. They are the final two pieces of the striker gear set. Once again, I'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. Hope this video helped you out, my friends, and as always, questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Most of you know that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the family that we have here at the channel, so if you happen to have any ideas you want to pass along to new and returning players, please let me know in the comment section. On that note, I'm going to leave you with that gameplay footage. Thank you once again for the privilege of your time, and as I mentioned at the end of every one of these, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. So I just found out, my fellow agents, I need to go buy candy for Halloween tonight because we don't keep it in the house because if we do, I eat it. So, yeah, I got that going for me. So I have to go food shopping really quick. Do me a favor. Let me know in the comments section what is your favorite candy on Halloween. I always steal the stuff from the kids. Let me know what your favorite is.
Now, one thing I know I referenced in the video is the fact that, you know, an important detail about putting a build together is truly making it your own. What I mean by that is you may not need 1.4 million armor on your build, you may want 1.1. And one thing I recommend doing is when you're putting a build together, go to a mission, control point, something where you know the timing of the NPC and you want to try it out. And the reason I say that is because if you cannot make a build work where you know exactly when the NPCs are going to show up and where they're coming from, chances are that build is not going to work out for you in the open world if things happen to get sideways. And I also like this build because it's really plug and play. I can use this as a solo player. I can use it in a group if I'm playing Countdown. Let me know your thoughts, my fellow agents. As always, I hope this helped you out. Thank you once again for everything. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks again, everybody. I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. Immediate medical assistance needed. into a base. It's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders.
That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think you closed the tunnel with the spark? Fuck you! You plugged us up in with us! I'm gonna shoot you right down here. from the campus is taking position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated their stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today.